Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video and explanation of this question. STEM, which of the following drugs was most likely drug X? All right. An IV injection of drug X was given to a laboratory animal before and after the administration of atropine. The heart rate was recording. The results are depicted below. So here you see that heart rate is going to be on the Y axis. And if you give this said drug X, this said drug X is going to cause a decrease in heart rate. So what are drugs that cause a decrease in heart rate? Well, things like your anticholinergic medications, your anti-sympathetic medications like beta blockers, or an advanced way to think about it is a agent that causes you to have hypertension, i.e. vasoconstriction, like an alpha agonist, and that subsequently downstream gives you reflexive bradycardia because of the baroreceptor reflex. In either case, in this study, they are given atropine, which is an anti-muscarinic. Now, if you give an anti-muscarinic, your heart rate should go up. But we are now going to give drug X again. And drug X normally if drug X was alone, should have done bradycardia. However, it does tachycardia in the setting of atropine. So we know that acetylcholine at the SA node is the culprit, i.e. you are blunting the baroreceptor reflex. Remember, the efferent limb of the baroreceptor reflex is going to be acetylcholine at the sinoatrial node. So, which of the following drugs is most likely drug X? Well, in this scenario, epinephrine, that's beta. That's not going to cause you to have a decrease in heart rate. Nor epinephrine, which is the correct answer, gives you alpha-1 agonism, vasoconstriction, then reflexive bradycardia. Prazosin is an alpha-1 antagonist, so that causes you to have reflex tachycardia. But remember, the initial thing was bradycardia. Albuterol, isoproteranol, dobutamine, they all act more on beta. So this question is all about knowing the baroreceptor reflex and atropine can blunt the efferent limb of the baroreceptor reflex. Hope this helps.